Hey guys, how you doing today? This is Stefan Petway. I'm back and I'm going to be teaching you guys today about playing actions. Now, one of the things about being in theater is that theater is about human beings. It's about conflict, it's human thoughts, it's about expression, it's about feelings, it's about interpretation, and it's about putting everything out there. We use our body to put everything out there. We have a thought, that thought shifts into a feeling, that feeling shifts into a way to express outwardly. Now, every character in a play, they have a conflict. They have an objective. They want something from someone. How do they achieve that objective is through the art of playing actions. It's about doing. So for example, one of my favorite monologues is Tony Aronica from Savage in Limbo by John Patrick Shanley. Tony's in the bar. He's seeing everybody. He's seeing his girlfriend, Linda. He's got something he needs to tell her. He just told her. She's giving him a lot of flack. So he comes back at Linda. Tony's objective is to berate the audience. Boo-hoo! What are you, the abominable snowman? You know what's the matter with you people? All of you. You're not brave enough. Those are actions that I played within my body and within my structure to berate an audience. Now, to get more specific with the actions, and that's what actors have to always do. Acting is also about specificity and clarity. If you're clear with your objective, if you're clear with what you want in that scene, the audience is gonna be able to pick it up and then they'll be able to be in the story and on the, and on the journey with you. So for Tony, my, if my objective is to berate the audience in this bar, what actions do I play to berate somebody? To announce, boo-hoo, to scoff. What are you, the abominable snowman? To smear. Do you know what's the matter with you people? To pinpoint all of you. To let go. You're not brave enough. I just called out actions, I physically expressed them through my body, I had a thought, I had a feeling, and I expressed it. Now, are they the right actions? Maybe, maybe not. They came from me. There are actions that are in a script that the playwright provides for you, and then there are actions within the text that you, the actor, have to identify and make a choice. Is it going to be the right choice or the wrong choice is on you. I don't believe that there's a wrong choice with actions. I believe that if you don't, if you do not make a choice to play an action, then you leave your partner who is trying to bring the conflict towards you. You leave them out of the situation. So now you are two people in two separate plays. And it's no different with Shakespeare. If you think about it with Shakespeare, Hamlet's to be or not to be speech, Prince Hal's uh, declaration to his father, Petruchio's, you know, I'll attend her here and woo her with some spirit when she comes. Shakespeare was talented at suiting the action to the word and the word to the action. And with any play, with any movie script, with anything that you do, you always want to be interested in what the character is doing because acting is about doing, it's about doing, it's about doing. I am doing something to achieve my objective, which is my goal. I have obstacles that stand in my way. It is me or it's my partner or it's the circumstances that we're in, but the fact of the matter is I have something that I want and I'm gonna fight with everything in me to get what I want. I will bluff, I will poke, I will party, I will pounce, I will plead, I will pray, I will beg, I will shake, I will devour, I will destroy, I will dig, I will do all these things. And actions can also be played in the subtlest way or they can also be played in the most demonstrative way. Again, it's your choice, but you have to always remember playing an action is crucial. If you do not play an action, you're not interesting. No one's going to be interested in you. They're not going to be invested in what you have to say. Because when you step on that stage, you want something. So play that action and get what you want. Will you get it is the question. 
But that's why we're gonna be in that theater watching you perform, because we wanna see you work to get something. And when you finally get it, then we wanna see if you get it taken away from you. And then we wanna see if you can get it back. Or if you just keep it, who knows? That's my lecture for today, playing actions. Take it easy, guys.